Well, hello there, darlings, and welcome back to San My Shoe. No, we are continuing on with 20 Culpepper House and the Pancake family today. We have a couple more bedrooms to furnish for this lovely lot. So let's get right to it, shall we? Happy Wednesday to all of you, and welcome back to Let's Build the World. Oh. And welcome to part two, or the final part of the Pancake House. We are going to continue on today and get these three bedrooms furnished up today. That is what we're going to do. I have done a little bit off of camera, but I'll show you just now. What we have been and gone and done is I furnished up the kind of entry hallway, just with some bits and bobs and, you know, grandfather clock, a little side table with a bowl to put your keys in, Shoe rack, little coat rack up there as well, picture, little welcome rug, side table, vase, mirror. That kind of vibe and a cheeky little plant over there as well, forgot about you. And also in this spare cupboard here, I've just put in some various different little pieces really. Um, I would like to be able to see what's in there, but we can't unless we go actually inside. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to flop right in. So yeah, I've just put in stuff that you would find in a cupboard, some, you know, washing pieces, some spare pillows maybe. But this here, a little chair. I'm going to pop up a comment that I found um, from one of you guys that I just really loved that little storyline. Maybe this could have been Fiona's uh, or Joe's wife's old chair and he just can't bear to look at it empty and he doesn't want to get rid of it. So they keep it in this cupboard. And I reckon that Lizzie comes and curls up on this as well and reads her book in the cupboard in the dark with a torch or something. Just vibing with that. So thank you so much for that comment there. I just love those little lore comments that you guys have been giving me. I really, really appreciate it. I really do. So, as I said, we've got three bedrooms to furnish. This is obviously going to be Sam's bedroom, the big master suite. We have got Lizzie's bedroom here, the smaller bedroom. There was a couple of you that said we should give Lizzie a bigger bedroom. And I was just like, no, that was never the case for me as a child. I always got the smaller room um, or the younger sibling always did. And that was me. Uh, so that is where I'm going with this. And this is going to be Joe's room here. And I have given Joe a piano. I've pulled out a few things for the, each of them, but I haven't really obviously fully furnished this properly yet we're going to do that together and where we're going to start is in Sam's room so I kind of want this to be a very woody vibe in here so I'm once again going to be using quite a lot of the uh, high school uh, pieces I just think they work darlings I really do so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do I've already picked the bed out I just think that bedding is really really nice in here vibing with it absolutely vibing I think maybe some lamps up on there as well, but we'll get to that in a minute. I just want to get everything in here first off. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and put them around together. So I'm going to use this little side table here and this wardrobe. I'm thinking, I mean, it doesn't need two wardrobes, but I reckon we could squeeze in two wardrobes. Maybe once again, this was stuff that him and his wife bought when she was alive. Uh, so that kind of makes sense, really, to have a couple of wardrobes in here. I might even put that in the middle, actually. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to whiffle you over to the side here and put you in the middle here. Put you in the middle. Um, and I reckon the it took I reckon it took Sam quite a while for uh, him to get rid of all of his wife's clothes and stuff. And it was a, it was a horrible process. I think anybody who's kind of lost someone can relate to that as well. I know I personally can. Uh, so I don't know. I just like to reflect on that kind of thing. And I think that would, yeah, very sad, but we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it, darlings. <laughs> I'm going to flop a mirror over in this corner. He likes to look sharp, does our Sam. And he does. He does look sharp. I'm absolutely for him. So I think I'm going to add in a nice little, a nice little uh, mirror over onto this side here as well. And I might up above here put a picture of something instead of doing a mirror there. I mean, we could have two mirrors in here. Do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do two mirrors. Uh, this could have been maybe the place where his wife got ready to go out or just ready for the day, to be honest. And I'm kind of vibing with that. Not vibing with the height of that mirror, though. So I am going to bring it down with a tool mod. And there we go. A little cheeky naught, minus 0 0.3. And that just brings that down into a nicer kind of level there now. I'm into that. 
what I'm going to squeeze in the side there, I think, is going to be a little laundry basket. I think we can flop that in the side here. Oh, 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 squeezed right in. That is squished in there, but it fits. So I'm going to vibe with it and carry on. Yes, I like that whole side. There do need to be some like decorative pieces and stuff in there, but I'm vibing with it. So I'm thinking I do want him to have like a little chill out area, maybe even a bookcase in here. The room is that big. We could have a nice bookcase. And I definitely want to have a PC in here as well. I reckon this is like the family PC. So Sam just lets anybody, Lizzie and Joe, go in and use the PC whenever they wish, unless he's not sleeping. Because he does work quite late being a chef. He's at, He was at work when um, Joe and Lizzie were having a little bit of movie time. He was at work. And that was quite late in the evening as well. So I didn't know that. I've not really done the chefing career in The Sims. Um, but you learn something new every day, darlings. You really do. We'll go for that older kind of desktop, I think. I think that is pushed in as well as it can be. Nice bit of like space on either side here. So I'm wondering whether I should put something there or not. I don't know just yet. Desk chair wise probably just something a little bit more neutral again this bedroom's not going to be like full of color or anything it's just going to be very plain and neutral it's a very big bedroom isn't it it is a big bedroom i'm lucky enough to have a big bedroom myself so i know what it's like to sleep in a big bedroom i mean it's not as big as this but it definitely is big it definitely is big um in english victorian house standards yes yes um i have built my house in the sims before it is in it is somewhere on youtube i have no idea where but maybe i should do an updated version one day of that i know i'm going to be doing an updated version of my dream home build just saying so yeah maybe i should okay i do think a bookcase would be great in here but i think we'd have to go for a slightly smaller one so let me pull some objects out that I just think will fill the space up nicely. I definitely want to get a rug and stuff in here. We need some lamps. We need some pictures. Uh, so let me go and grab all that and I'll be right back. I've finished the room off with just a few pieces. So we've got some table lamps going. Got this picture up here. I put a little plant in the corner on this side. Uh, some of Lizzie's drawings. She is absolutely fascinated by space and anything science. Uh, so I really like that there. I've also put a toy box in here as well. Now, I know this is not usable, but I reckon Lizzie will come in to her dad's bedroom and have a little play around because it's a nice big space, you know? So I'm kind of vibing with that. We've also put a bookcase over in this corner here and I've put the little seating area just here as well where he can sit down, read a book, catch up, you know, chill out. The desk area, I've just put some plants on it and a little bit of filing and whatnot, maybe household bills and stuff. And then on this side, another beautiful object made by Lizzie. And maybe just some like hair styling bits. Because he's proud of his hair, is our Sam. Uh, so I, I'm kind of vibing with that. I think that fills up the space quite nicely. It's still a very big room. But I'm, I'm, I'm still here for it. I'm absolutely still here for it. I just think that fits in quite nicely. I also put this at the end of the bed as well. But I've turned it the other way around just so that's not on show i don't feel, feel that's necessarily it necessary in this room so i flopped it around the other way loves uh, and i'm kind of vibing i'm kind of vibing with that it's, as i said very big room but i think we feel filled it up okay we have so i think what we're going to do is move on to lizzie's bedroom so i do want this to be a bit of a nice fun bedroom for her to play in but she's definitely a bookworm that is one of her traits we're going to have to we're going to have to make that happen I'm thinking maybe a nice little squishy, oh, maybe a desk actually under there. We're going to give her a laptop. Yeah, we'll put a desk under here and we'll give Lizzie a laptop. Let me get rid of Parenthood. We don't need you anymore, my darling. Great game pack, by the way, is Parenthood. I really, really enjoy it. I still use a lot of the objects to this day, darlings. Um, What about you? I mean, that's not too bad, actually. It doesn't need to perfectly match in. I don't want to do any pink. Oh, that's quite nice because it's got the white on it as well. Yes. Now, she's very studious, is our uh, Lizzie. So I definitely want to make that apparent. We'll give her not the most expensive laptop. But nowadays, like, don't kids need them for, like, homework and stuff? Like, an a or an access to a PC, at least. Depending, obviously, on what country you're living in. Um, so I'm going to give that for Liz. I'm going to give it for Lizzie. She deserves it. We'll give her a little pop of yellow. Oh, I'm stunning. 
and maybe the like study books as well but like i know it looks very um oh no we'll give it to her i know it looks very kind of like older for her but maybe she's advanced in her years on her studies i can imagine that with her to be honest so i'm kind of for it really am so i mean we could pop even more yellow in here we're going to do a mixture of like brighter colors pinks blues yellows that kind of vibe i think that will sit well with our lizzie or lil liz i kind of like that little name that little nickname for her so we definitely need a wardrobe we definitely need a toy box i've pulled out the little science um or chemistry set i think that would be absolutely perfect for her i wouldn't say she's much of a creative she's definitely much more kind of like i don't know logic focused she definitely loves to play the violin. I reckon her granddad got her into the violin and was like, I'll pay for lessons. Let's get Lizzie into the violin. And I'm for that, really am. Very bright room, but it's only when I like touch it with my cursor for some reason. Because Sims, that's why. So wardrobe wise, do you know what? The same wardrobes as her dad's got. We'll give her one and I'll give her a... Uh draw some drawers to go with it why did that take so long to get out then tell you what loves my brain is not with it today that is why right there no i'm gonna have this as a bit more of the play area really so i'll do this as a bit more of the um kind of furniture area see i can't get my words out i cannot get my bloody words out infuriating oh these could be a little vibe as well <gasps> yeah let's put these over in the corner and we can just pretend that there's toys and stuff in here. I'll put some toys up on each of these. I think that will be a cute little vibe there. And I know we can't use them inside. But I think I want to get out a little telescope for Lizzie as well. I do think just having a little telescope up against the window would just be absolutely adorable. But do you know what I mean? I'm kind of vibing with that. I reckon she peeps on people as well down down here see what everyone gets up to oh yes yes i'm full of that i really am maybe on this side like a little bear of some kind maybe maybe her mum got her this like just before she was born and she's kept it ever since can you can you not make yourself cry please aiden because i will i will sob yeah we're gonna do it we're gonna give her a little cat a little cheeky cat what colour though? Can we go for a little bit more of a... Oh yeah, let's go for that one. Oh, that's cute. And it's absolutely screaming out for a cheeky picture up there. So I think I'm just going to use one of those base game um, coloured frame ones because I love them. They, st they, they have aged well. Like these ones here. I think these are so adorable. Look at that little ladybird. Oh, or ladybug as you would call it in the US. Why do we in the UK call them ladybirds? I've never really understood that. Because they're not birds, are they? That's one thing you're getting right, America. The US. <laughs> Don't come for me in the comments. But it is aluminium. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Moving on. Before I get cancelled. Um, do you know what? Cancel me. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm joking. Please don't. <laughs> I couldn't care less, to be honest with you. I've got nothing to be cancelled for. I am a lovely human. <laughs> Aiden, shut up. Let's move on, shall we? For fuck's sake. I'm on one today. I'll tell you that much. Maybe that one? That kind of fits in the vibes here. But, oh, actually, this... Oh, yes. We'll go for that one instead, shall we? Very big balls on it, isn't it? I don't mind a big ball. I must say, I do not mind big balls. Quite partial to some big balls, darlings. Take that as you wish. And I think I want to put up, not this one. Oh, that's quite adorable though. And it's got little pictures on it as well. Hmm. I might use that actually. That could be adorable for her. I reckon she just loves a bit of dress up as well. I reckon she likes, she's got a few fancy dress costumes. I'll make that apparent actually. I'll make sure to give her a few fancy dress costumes in her wardrobe that she can wear from time to time. She can flounce around at whatever she wants to. A pirate, a dragon, a princess. All of those kind of vibes, you know. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I am feeling that. And we did say we're going to get in a bookcase 
for her. Now, I do want her to probably have quite a big bookcase. I reckon she, this is her passion. She absolutely loves to read. And so does her dad. I reckon her dad is a big reader as well. And that's probably where she got it from. Uh, so we're going to vibe with that. I'm going to flop you over to here, my sweetheart. And you are going to go down here. You're going to go down to there, like that. And I'm going to give her a nice big squishy chair. Uh, can I go into here and into furniture that way? Oh, we can. Stunning. Because I want to use this one. Can we get like a good... Oh, that's adorable. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Maybe she keeps badgering her dad. Oh, I've got an idea. Maybe she keeps badgering her dad to get her a cat. She has always wanted a cat and her dad's always been a bit like, no, um, like they're, they're hard to look after. We live in an apartment, but he secretly, I'm going to hide a bowl. That's not very hidden, is it? Right there. She'll be able to see that when she comes in here and reads. Um, hmm. Let me lift it right onto the top here then instead. That's going to go down, isn't it? Oh, you bastard. Go away. Right. I can get this. Is that floating? By a clear mile. Right. We're going to get some of that. And what about... Oh. A toy. And maybe we can get them a cat. I mean, she'd be made up with that. She really would. Maybe we can get her a cat. Uh, is that floating? It is slightly. I'll move that down with the talk mod. But just as a nod for that storyline. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get you guys to get her a cat. Once the save file is out in about two years. So, um, <laughs> but there's there's the makings of story a storyline there. She's, a, she's just a fan of cats, loves. Absolute fan of them. She really is. Uh, do I want to do a little lamp down there? I don't think I want to do a lamp. I think maybe what I could do is pop up a little night light down here. Uh, oh, that would be ador oh, that would be adorable in here. Oh, that really would. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to flop you to there. I know that's not a night light, but this room is very bright. I might even get rid of the spotlight that I've got. Oh, God, now it's too dark. You can't win with the lighting in this game, can you? Oh, well. Yep, we'll put that there. And I do need to give her a nightlight anyway. So we'll give her this little nightlight just up by her bed here. Again, where she reads. Reading everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Now, I still feel that there's some little trinkety bits that I could get out. We definitely still need a toy box as well, which I might have to squeeze in there somewhere. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go and find. Plus just some other wall decorations and little trinkety bits here and there so let me go and grab them so i've pulled a few final little bits out so i've managed to squeeze a toy box in over there um and i've just moved the violin next to the desk area here now as i said she's interested in space and all things astronomy so a little alien little robot she's into sci-fi that's probably her favorite genre of book as well uh, i'm gonna slice that one down i've moved this across over to this way just so i can fit in other little trinkety bits here Bits up on the wall, little shelf with, some, with a person, a radio. She's very much into her music, like her parent and like her parent. That makes me feel sad. Her dad. Let me just say that. Um, storybook, gorgeous little pop-up storybook, block building to broaden her mind. Um, and I squeeze in a little laundry basket as well in this area. I think that's a cute bedroom for her. I really do. And I also pulled out a school project as well, but I've put it in her dad's room. I reckon they're going to do this together. Maybe I could fill up this space here and put it there. So they can do that together in the bedroom. Oh, I'm vibing with that. Yes. So I put a little rocketry school project for them. So final room is going to be the lovely Joe's room. So I think what we're going to do in here is keep it kind of neutral like uh, Sam's. But I do want to get a few pieces of antique furniture out. Just so it looks like he's kind of bought that from the old house and stuff. And he doesn't want to let go of it. So let me find that those pieces and I'll be right back. So I've pulled out a few extra bits. And I've also changed the bed as well. Just because the bed colour was... The, the wood tone was just not working with everything I was putting in. And do you know what? He likes a bit of colour. So that's what we're going to do. He is a snappy dresser is our Joe Pancakes. 
So he loves his clothes. Absolutely loves his clothes. So I've made sure to give him quite a few pieces of furniture to be able to house his clothes. And again, we're going for that antique vibe in here. So, but the other furniture is a little bit, um, you know, a little bit classic, shall we say. With some Tiffany lamps as well. These were his wife's pride and joy. And he absolutely detests them. But he is keeping them for her memory. I, I, am I out here to make myself cry today? Because it, it's working. It really is. There we go. We'll put that there. And I think I want to get a plant in this corner. Maybe that lovely, this one here. Maybe you. And I will get a bit of colour out with you as well, darling. Flop you into this corner. Let me see. Oh, do you know what? You would look better over here. Near the window. So you can get some natural light. Flop you into there like that. Even though the shadow on that is absolutely shocking. But what isn't in The Sims, you know? And I think over here, what I could do is move the wardrobe closer to the door. Move this even in a little bit tighter. And I might even put a chair there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a nice chair there. And I think I'm just going to do a nice classic look with the chair. So maybe something like this. This is the one I was looking for. And I thought we were going to be waiting, um, searching for it for about two years. But we're here. We're here. Let's do it. Pop that into the corner there. Again, maybe somewhere where he just puts his pants and socks on in the morning. Needs a little bit of extra help. He's getting old in, in years, is our Joe. I reckon he's in his maybe mid-70s. That's the kind of age I'm kind of looking at, I think. Just going to eye drop this little laundry basket and put it into this area here, into the room. Oh! I might even just bring you out a little touch there, my love. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Definitely a lovely picture up there. I'm, ve I'm feeling that. Nice big picture. Maybe we can find that together. Let's have a look. Maybe just like a nice landscape painting would be nice in here for our Joe. Uh, so that base game one usually comes in quite handy for that kind of vibe. But trying to look for it and amongst all of these paintings proves to be quite difficult sometimes. Yes. Yes, this will work. Oh, it will it work. I think I'm going to put it offset though. I'm going to offset it, and then what I'm going to do is flop up, flop up, darlings, a little, well, a nice big plant on top of here, to be honest. Um, hello. There we go. We'll go for the base game one. Don't really like that tone there, though. Oh, yes. See, that just helps out with offsetting that little painting, then. It just, I don't know, makes it look a little bit more attractive. I might even just whiffle that up a bit higher. Stunning. Stunning. Now, he's a musical sim. He's a very musical sim. <laughs> so I'm thinking, what I'm going to do is flop out a little gramophone here. Maybe he can play his old records. Uh, I know this only plays like prom night on it, but it's just for the, the storyline purposes, loves. I'm going to put that there. He definitely lifts up those windows and belts out a few bluesy, jazzy songs. I definitely feel that from our... From our Sam. From our Joe. 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 Not Sam. Sam and Joe. I mean both of them, to be honest. Now, he definitely is a man to look after himself. So I would definitely see him with a few kind of like colognes. He likes to look good. He likes to look sharp. He likes to look snazzy. So let's get out a few of those. I might even give you the little like hair. Um, Yeah, we'll do that. We'll flop you to there. And I am going to struggle at finding these bloody colognes. Here they are. Men's cologne. We'll flop you into the middle there. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. I reckon maybe he's got some laundry to put away as well. Do you know what? I'm vibing. I'm, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. He's got some fresh laundry there to be put away. Uh, and maybe up here. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to give him another little picture of his wife. I'm going to give him another little picture of his wife in here. You know? You know? And do you know what? And I don't even... And I definitely do not think Dolores is threatened by that at all. She understands it. She understands grief. She knows how it works. She's fine with it. He loved her, you know? Oh! <laughs> Imagine if I just started bawling. <laughs> I don't think I've ever cried in a video before where there's time. There is time, loves absolute time for that <laughs> no 
takes a lot for me to cry. I won't lie. I won't lie to you. Oh, yeah, that looks nice over in the corner there. Just a bit of greenery. Oh, do you know what? I'm kind of vibing with this room as well. Again, it's another big room. But I don't know. It just feels... It just, I just feel something in here. I really do. I don't know if I should put a picture or anything up on the wall behind there. Maybe. Let me see if I can find a few more pictures to go around. I didn't bother in the end. I tried a few pictures up there, but it just looked a bit weird. So I've left it. I've left it. I've completely left it, darlings. <gasps> We're done. We are done with the second apartment for San Maishu now. Very exciting indeed. Um, I'm going to flop down and we're going to have a little tour around together, my love. So, excuse Blue. Shuffle, look at him shuffling in the background. Oh, you can see. Look at his little face. Anyway, so here we go. In through the front door. You come in through the front entrance here. We've got little trinkety bits. As I've said, you've already seen all of this. We've got the little store cupboard in here. Complete with the secret cat stuff. Including that floating cat toy that I will saw, I promise. Come out here. I've also added an addition. They're very proud of Bob. There's a picture of Bob in the hallway. Um, through into here. The lights are off because they are having a movie night in game. So this area is not lit up at the minute. But the fire is on. So this is the living room. Nice and cosy. Cosy vibes. Very much for it. I also swapped out the jukebox for the record player as well. I just thought it suited the aesthetics. And that jukebox just looks a bit too cartoonish now. You know, I'm up for it. Into the kitchen. Lovely little kitchen here with a nice little dining area down here too. Oh, I'm for it. I really am. You come around to this way. We did not go into the bathroom. So I will show you into the bathroom now. Big bathroom. Slightly outdated. But, you know. It could be revamped. Each of them got their own little... Look at the little dressing gowns up on the wall there. Oh, I'm all that detail. You come through this way. Um, let's go into the first room first that we did. So let's go into Sam's room. So Sam's big bedroom in here. That window is an absolute bitch. I will sort that out. Nice. Just a big space, you know. All that. Right, round to this one as well. Let's go into Lizzie's bedroom next. Sorry if you're getting dizzy. Into Lizzie's bedroom, a nice bright... Look at the view that she's got from her room. I mean, can you imagine having that view as a child from your bedroom? Oh, the imagination. So yeah, telescope, science table, uh, bookcase, block building, the whole works. Even her own little desk area underneath of her um, bed as well. Love that. I swapped that nightlight as well. I didn't mention that. Gone for the starry one as well. And then through here into the last room that we've just done the lovely joe's room so into his bedroom just very clean but i like that we've gone for a bit more of like an antique vibe in here do you know what i mean i just think it suits him quite nicely i'll do a little top down view for you guys as well so if you do want to copy along to 20 cold pepper house you can copy this floor plan um, I'll make sure as well next week to get these apartments up on the gallery for you guys to go and download um, you guys have taught me well on how to do it, and I appreciate that. I really, really do. Uh, I will make sure to get them up as soon as possible. So, we are finished with, well, not just finished. There's two more apartments to go. And what I'm thinking, I know I said we were going to go straight on to here, but what I've been thinking is we're going to finish off Culpepper House. We're going to finish off Culpepper House. I'll go into the map view so you can see what we've got left to do. So here we are in the map view. So we've obviously done these two apartments um, and we've got these two left. Now I have got ideas for these guys as well. One of them is going to be a bit of an annoying neighbour, a bit of a Karen, shall I say. We're going to be moving a Karen into here and I've got an idea for a family moving into this house as well. So someone of someone with some children and they're definitely going to be friendly uh, on terms with like the pancake family and stuff so i'm looking forward to that i really really am i'm gonna leave you on this view thank you so much for watching get some lovely comments down below and as always give me some of your wonderful ideas we're going to be probably making a start with karen's apartment next week uh and we probably i don't know if we'll get that finished in the one part but we'll see what happens we'll just see what happens i'm live on twitch tonight as well at 7 p.m bst i am continuing 
building Wednesday Adam's house in The Sims 4 if you do want to come along. But if not, I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.